Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tifa and today I'm going to be talking to you about my otaku favourites for the past month. I don't actually think that um, I read a lot of manga this month. Usually I do read a lot of manga but life has been crazy. I sound a little sick because of that as well so I really do apologise and yeah I think I've just been watching a lot more anime for once even though I don't think I really watched that much anime this month but there are a lot of animes to look forward to next year so I can't wait to make a video about that and talk to you guys about all those animes because I am super hyped but yeah I don't think I really have any new mangas to recommend I've just been you know continuing a lot of manga that I already started so I guess we're just gonna jump into anime so let me start with some animes that I did start and I was really wanting to like but just didn't end up watching all of it or being that invested in it. So I'm going to start off with Blue Period which is a new Netflix anime. Now the concept of this really interested me. It was a lot about art and painting and I know a lot of other people might find this quite boring but I thought the concept of it was pretty cool as someone who did a lot of art <laughs> growing up and studied art and all that kind of stuff and I really do adore painting so I thought that that would be like something interesting to see in anime but I really couldn't get past the first few episodes. There were some points where it was really really lovely and I really adored the way that they animated some of these paintings and the way they talked about art being enjoyable and that was really great but I found it really slow so sadly I couldn't continue it. I know that this isn't really a favourite even though I'm talking about anime favourites but I guess this is more like something that I really wanted to mention and talk about because um, it was something I really wanted to enjoy and there were aspects I really did love but I don't know. <laughs> it's like it holds a special place, but it's not quite my favourite anime that I've watched this month. The next anime I want to talk about isn't a new anime, but it's one that I recently started watching, which was Don't Mess With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I have like mixed feelings about this. I do find her character quite interesting and apparently it's nicer, the whole story is nicer in the manga um and it does make me want to read the manga don't get me wrong but i feel like they kind of did her dirty in the anime yeah i said i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> nagatoro is really interesting and i do like the way she's animated i love her voice actor and the way that she plays her but some of the things she does and says are just so mean like not even just a oh, sundere kind of cute but mean type of way they're just plain mean they're plain bullying and i know that's kind of the point but sometimes you're like um is that is that a little too far especially especially in the beginning and i just i just couldn't get on board with the anime story even though i love nagatoro herself is that bad i don't know if that's just yeah now that I've talked about those two, let's jump into my actual anime favourite. Recently, I've been watching a lot of JoJo's. Now, I know that everybody and their mom, their family has seen JoJo's. JoJo's is not a new thing, but obviously we're getting new seasons and it's like really interesting. <laughs> and I needed something to watch in my spare time as well. So I thought JoJo's would be something really cool. And there's so many references to JoJo's in so many other like animes and mangas so you know you kind of have to watch it and I never really got fully into it. Now this was a lot of stopping and starting to get through this and I'm not even finished yet. I'm nowhere near finished. Let's yeah. Um, and I really want to read the manga but I feel like I should watch the anime first and then jump into the manga but I digress. So there was a lot of stopping and starting within the first season. For some reason it was interesting and I, and I couldn't look away but at the same time I wasn't like invested and I know a lot of other people feel kind of similarly because they say once you get through the first and second season, season three is great, you know? 
Um, but I just wanted to specifically talk about the first season and how for some reason Jojo's like has this weird thing where it captures you and you can't look away. You just absolutely cannot look away. I also really enjoy the art style a lot more than I thought I would and it's just really strange because half of me is like do I really care? And then I just I just can't look away. So JoJo's is definitely on my favourites list for this month. It's been something that I've been enjoying a lot recently and yeah. How do you even describe JoJo's? I will be here for like three hours. This will be a very long video if I actually try to use my brain to describe JoJo's. But basically I think it's worth trying to watch but I understand that it can take a while. It's kind of like One Piece in the fact that, so One Piece is really long though, but there's a lot of stopping and starting for a lot of people when you're just starting to get into it. And I feel like JoJo's is a lot like that, but there's just something so fun about it, which I've really enjoyed this past month because just everything has been really hectic in my life and JoJo's has been kind of like this, just fun bubble to escape to. So that's that's what I wanted to say and tell you guys about JoJo's is that I don't think there is a better time to start watching it than right now. So after you finish this video, go watch some JoJo's, power through those first two seasons and just enjoy the little fun bubble and don't question it. The second anime that I want to talk about is Platinum End. <sighs> I have been waiting for this one. Now I... <sighs> Platinum End is done by the same artist and writer as Death Note, so when the manga originally came out it really really interested me and I just really loved the art of it and the covers and it was just so beautiful. Now the anime has come out and I'm gonna be real with you, I've forgotten everything that happened in the manga because I never really kept up with it but I just adored the art style and I remembered bits and pieces of it so when I went to watch the anime I think the first like five or ten minutes of the first episode were really a little bit long-winded which was a little bit annoying of course they're trying to like explain everything so if you guys don't know Platinum End is about angels and it is about a guy who essentially graduates from high school and then tries to kill himself he gets rescued by an angel and he gets the options of having wings so he can go anywhere or an arrow so he can make others essentially fall in love and comply to his needs he chooses both he gets both and later finds out that he is actually a competitor in the kind of game to become God. Which is a really interesting concept and it definitely hooked me. So if you guys love Death Note, which I absolutely adore Death Note, it was one of my favourite animes. It is one of my favourite animes of all time and it's one of my favourite mangas of all time. And I love kind of the death and the gothness of it and all that kind of stuff and the kind of playing with the idea of God and you know what's moral and what's not moral. The morality of everything is like a really interesting concept that um, this author obviously loves to play with and so seeing that in Platinum End was really really cool and it's kind of like a Death Note 2.0 to me in a way because I feel like I'm, I'm getting some of that satisfaction so I can't look away and it's really great there isn't there's like only nine episodes so far and it's still going so I am really invested and I cannot wait to see more it's really just filling the nostalgia in me and also giving me something new to look forward to some more twists and turns it's really great and it's definitely one of my favorites of this season. And the last anime I want to talk about is Komi Can't Communicate which is the new Netflix series and of course we have all been waiting for this one and I absolutely adore Komi Can't Communicate and I think the anime does a really great job of it. I love the kind of play around with kind of like a superhero comic book manga theme whilst you know it's very it's a very simple plot line of 
Komi has anxiety. She has these issues where she can't speak to other people and she's a beautiful girl. Everyone like loves her, but she can't actually make these connections with people because she can't speak to them and her goal is to make a hundred friends. That is her goal. And she makes one friend and that friend is trying to help her along the way. And it's just such a sweet anime series and I just really love it. It's really, really well done and you are very interested and invested from the beginning even though she doesn't speak. <laughs> and I think that they really showcase that really well because it could have also gone really wrong if they didn't try and make it interesting despite the fact that she doesn't really say any words. So those are my otaku favourites for this month, or I guess my anime favourites. And I want to know what you guys think of all these new animes that have come out this season slash this month. So let me know down below what you guys think, are you guys enjoying Comic Can't Communicate or Platinum of the End? Just let me know because I'd love to chat about them. If you guys want to see more otaku favourites, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are interested in otaku related content, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!